You say you're saving consumers $27 million on hotel costs this weekend, more than double what you say you saved them last year. Yep. How do you know? Well, we're able to take a look at what the prices were last year on Airbnb and compare them to uh, what the prices were on hotels. And then going forward, obviously looking at this weekend, uh, you're able to pull publicly available data. We obviously know what we're charging and what our hosts are charging and then compare that to what the hotels are, are listing out there. And what all the data shows is last year we showed, saved people about over $12 million. This year it's going to be $27 million. And what that really translates into is for the typical American family who's staying in an Airbnb over July 4th, they're going to save about 100 bucks a night. Uh, and that's real money. We talk about how our platform democratizes travel, makes it more accessible to the middle class. And particularly families. That's actually how I discovered Airbnb. I have, like you, I have a couple boys. And uh, for, uh, back in 2013, we were traveling, and I stumbled across this Airbnb as a great way to take a family. You get a kitchen. If you're like my boys, you definitely need a washer and dryer, right, to clean the clothes. You get free Wi-Fi. It all comes with the package. Um, and it's one of the, it's, I think it's part of our, why our value proposition is so compelling to folks. Now, this is part of a broader campaign. You're taking a more aggressive tact against hotels. Airbnb has this reputation of being the nice company. Why, why take on We definitely bring a way? pillow to a knife fight uh, <laughs> at, at Airbnb. Um, but but this know, is a little more aggressive. But what it really is is just really trying to drive the, 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 the consumer comparison for folks, right? I mean, earlier this year it came out that the hotel industry was mounting a massive effort uh, at every single level to... Uh, really go after the Airbnb middle class hosts. And there's a reason for that. And it really gets down to something called compression nights. And compression nights is a technical word in the hotel industry where they purposefully try to limit supply. So on busy weekends, like a July 4th, or busy events, like a major sporting event, they can jack up the prices. And um, you know they themselves have actually acknowledged us. You don't even have to read our report. Just look at some of their public comments. Um, a guy by the name of John Bortz, who was one of the former heads of AHLA's political wing, runs the uh, Kempton Hotels. And at one point in time, he said that uh, the reason they're concerned about Airbnb is it's impacting the hotel industry's ability to quote unquote gouge consumers. That, that's his own words as a representative of the hotel industry. And so we do want to draw this comparison because it's really important to those families who are traveling. You save money on Airbnb.